the possibility of turning or coining this out on turn five. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why, yes. Let's do that. Okay. So turn three, turn four, and then turn five will be uh, guardian animals. Huh. This should be interesting. So even before the nerf to guardian animals, it was almost never seen in Hunter. But with the nerf changing guardian animals to eight mana, and most eight cost minions being quite a bit better than seven cost minions, we decided to build a deck with King Feoris. And of course, because we love throwing things into Quest Hunter, we meshed it all together and saw how it worked out. The win rate was absolutely terrible, so I cannot recommend this deck, unless you're the type of person who just loves to see what you can get off of King Feoris and get quest value from all the minions he summons for you. However, there were still some pretty interesting games, so we decided to go ahead and highlight them. So check out this highlight and let me know what you think. How many beasts do we have in the deck? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah. Hmm. That's fine. Hmm. Tracking, don't betray us this time, eh? Ooh. All right. Never mind, we're playing this. And then maybe turn three is this. We'll see. Kelts fan. Fun. Hmm. All right, there's a reason to save tracking, or an even better reason to save tracking now. And this time we got the Swarm of Locusts instead of um, tossing it. So I can't quite kill that, but I can certainly make sure our um, questing does well. The fact that he is running Overconfident Orc makes me think Highlander though, because I don't... Small spell doesn't run Overconfident Orc. So this is almost certainly a Highlander deck. Face. Really? Intriguing. Not using my mana efficiently. And I'm about to lose my 1-3. Um, and maybe this is a mistake, but I want to save the tracking for something big, because if it is Highlander, um, I'm going to want my Krolusk to get some value. I may want to go ahead and do it now. We don't have a good alternate play. Yeah, it's okay. We now own the board. Okay. Swarm of Locusts into Swarm of Locusts. So we're going to be doing well on completing the quest, but interesting from our opponent. And that was an early evocation. Cool. Thank you for opening one more spot on the board for our uh, Swarm of Locust to get value. <laughs> now if he's got Blizzard, so be it. We can just cast uh, Swarm of Locusts again next turn. Combustion. All right, gets rid of three of them. He wouldn't have done that if that was um, Swarm. I mean, Flame Ward, I don't think. Okay. Shuma. Only summons uh, two. But totally worth. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have wide and kind of tall. And we've got, if he did manage to clear this entire board. Are you sure that's a good idea? Like, I know you wanted to take out my Shuma, but you turned this into, like, you were pretty much guaranteed to turn this into something bigger if it hit it. And now I feel great about dropping this. Now if he clears everything but the escape mana saber and maybe the 4-7 with like a weak AoE, then we can mana saber, well, 
I guess as if it's a blizzard, we can't attack with a mana saber, and then the grand slam. But anything else, like that. Uh, escape mana saber pretty much always survives. So the grand slam here could be lethal. Probably not. It, if everything went face. It'd be lethal. Let's go for it. Uh, probably takes out the Solarian anyways. He's not dead. Okay. So Solarian's dead. Wow. They really wanted to take uh, the, the opponent's board. <laughs> Can he deal with this? We're three away from completing the quest. We have space. The rush minions. We had six overkill. I think this may be the superior version of the deck anyways. We're about to find out though. Uh, so we're facing the class that normally um, uses guardian animals in a broken way, or used to at least. So this is useless until like turn 10, uh, our turn 10 probably, hopefully not their turn 10, uh, or their 10 mana turn, because that'll be turn 5 for us. Oh, untapped potential, well, intriguing. And he had to use Innervate, so he's low on resources. Next turn we can license an adventurer, and we'll have two coins. So I could turn three Teacher's Pet. Of course it's the right way. But I'm a little bit more excited about uh, the possibility of turning or coining this out on turn Five? <laughs> yes! Why yes, let's do that. Okay, so turn three, turn four, and then turn five will be uh, guardian animals. Ah, oh, fudge. You just had to ruin my plans, didn't you? <laughs> but I can't leave that out there. Hmm. That would have been nice. We can still do it on six, no problem. But, I mean, I could. No, we never get to do it on five. Because even if I escape Mana Saber here. For three or for um, card draw as well? For three, okay. So he's done with the quest. Oasis Surger is incoming, probably. Oh gosh, let's not draw all our beasts, please. That lines up okay against um, Oasis Surgers, but also something smaller, potentially. Uh, oh, wow. He's just like, nope. Okay, I'm not gonna attack with this because Starfall or whatever uh, is very likely. If I do this, and this survives, which it will if I don't attack with it, then I only need one coin to be able to um, Guardian animals next turn. Have it, have it. Oh my gosh, I almost sabotaged myself. <laughs> uh, so he could starfall here and kill everything except for the mana saber and the second half of the um, what you call it? Okay. I'm not going to take four on this. this wasn't on the map. It's okay. He's got a fair bit of healing. Uh, they almost certainly are going to have the heal 12, summon a 6-6, six, six, whatever that's called. 
Hidden Oasis, I think. Starfall. Yeah, so he did have Starfall. We're doing okay. Next turn, I'll have eight mana available. I might just drop a Lake Thresher and Desert Spear. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Get progress towards the quest. A little bit more board presence out there. If he's got Starfall number two, Lake Thresher dies, but our Mana Saber and um, whatchamacallit still survive. Okay, five. Five mana. Four mana. Okay. Polkelt is good, actually. If power is what you seek, knowledge is what I provide. So I could take five and unleash the hounds here to protect my thresher. But no. Okay. We might top deck King Feoris. We're gonna get King Feoris or Nagrand Slam. Neither of what which we can play next turn. As long as we get King Feoris in the next two turns, we'll be able to get a 10 drop from him. Okay. I'll do this. If he's got swipe number two, he can hit us pretty hard. But if he doesn't, he'd need starfall number two that would hit us pretty hard. But even then, we're not taking too much damage. So if we top deck the Grand Slam instead of King Feoris, we will... Um, just cast one of the Grand Slams. And if we get King Feoris, we just play him. Okay. Our three drop was kind of a low roll, but it's aggressive. Okay, King Feoris. See how we play him. So, I want to make this trade, but that doesn't actually help us at all, does it? And we don't actually get anything out of our deck. He's used both swipes. If he has Starfall, we get punished for not attacking in. I don't know. Um, he has discovered now two choose one spells. That attack makes me think... There is a Starfall incoming. Oh no. Okay. Uh, so he gets three rushers? Yeah. Eight plus six. Fourteen. He's very dead. Okay. <laughs> we got there. And King Feoris got to finish him off. <laughs> uh, it works. It was interesting. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. 
We release videos here every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And if you want to join the experiments happening live, with the possibility of your comments showing up in a future video, check out our stream at twitch.tv forward slash ssalchemist. You're awesome. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.